From downstairs, I heard the bar being removed from the door. Hi there. Who are you? Where's Kate? Julie. I got up, padded to the loft rail, and leaned against the wall, hidden in the shadow. From here, I had an excellent view of the main room. Ascanio barred the stairs. Julie stood in the middle of the room with a determined look on her face. Her light hair was pulled into a ponytail. Good balance, light on her toes. Her hand was on one of my throwing knives. No matter how many times I took them away from her, she always managed to steal them. I'm Ascanio Ferrara of Clan Buddha. The question is, who are you? Move aside. I can't do that. I'm under strict orders not to let anyone I don't know upstairs. And (laughs) I don't know you. At least in one respect, the school had been good for Julie. They made sure she had frequent meals. She'd come a long way from the waif I found in the honeycomb. Still slender and pale, she looked stronger now, and her legs and arms no longer resembled toothpicks. She was also pretty, a fact Ascanio noticed, judging by his killer smile and the light flexing of his arms. One cute face, and all my orders of not admitting strangers flew right out the window. This kid was hopeless. Move. No. You see, I have a problem. Kate didn't tell me she was expecting an angel. (laughs) <laughs> Julie blinked, obviously stunned. I'd like to help you. I just can't. Kate is a very stern alpha. Stern? She might put me in a hole. Or whip me. She might twist your head off for this. Whip you? Really? It's brutal. But if I had something, some small favor, I might take a chance on being punished. A small favor? Like what? A kiss? Julie's eyes narrowed. Maybe I'll come back later. She'll be leaving later. And my memory is terrible. I might forget you were here and let her leave for the keep. It's very difficult to reach her in the keep. There are many guards. Julie stepped back. Ascanio stepped forward. She took another step. He followed with a fluid shapeshifter grace... He thought he was stalking her. She was pulling him away from the stairs, giving herself room to work. Are you going to be nice if I kiss you? Julie took another step back. Very nice. No tongue. No tongue. Kill me, somebody. Julie motioned to him. Okay. Ascanio took a step forward. Julie stood on her toes and gently kissed him. Her right hand slid into a leather pouch on her belt... Ascanio leaned forward, gliding his hands over her shoulders. Julie jerked back and smothered a handful of yellowish paste on his face. (coughs) Spain. Deep color, too, almost orange. Potent as hell. Ascanio clawed at his face, trying to exhale the fire that had suddenly exploded in his mouth and nose. Julie hooked his right leg with hers and shoved him back. He crashed like a log. Julie grabbed his arm, twisted it, flipping him over on his stomach, landed on Ascanio's back, pulled a plastic tie from her pocket, and locked his wrists. (sighs) I wanted to applaud. We'd practiced this takedown over the Christmas break, and she'd executed it perfectly. 